All right, guys, it is officially time for me to show you our finished goat setup. Are you ready to see it? Here's one of our goats, Penny. She's a Nigerian dwarf. We've got four Nigerian dwarfs and one Nubian. And a lot of the day they spend their time out in this entire pasture. So we've got a couple lambs right there. We got our Nubian right here. And we've got another Nigerian hidden back there. We've got two more that are getting bred right now. But I'm gonna show you this goat setup that we created. So in my goat setup, I decided I wanted to have two separate areas. So I have a smaller area right here and the bigger area right over here. And I really wanted it to be in the back corner of the property because it was just nice to, for me to have the goats further away and to be able to utilize this space that we're probably not gonna use otherwise. So they're tucked back in this corner and this smaller area, we'll probably use it for moms with their new babies when it's time for them to deliver and we need to separate them. I left this nice and long so we had the option to be able to divide this in half if we needed two areas to make two areas out of this one area, which might be a possibility in the future. Let's look at the big area. So the big area is a great big section for the goats for them to have plenty of space as the main area. We have a goat house built out of pallets that they can use, although they don't really go in it that much because we don't get cold here in Arizona. And, you know, it provides some shade. So, you know, I'm assuming a mom and baby might go in there if they need to do that. This total area in this main goat area is about a thousand square feet. Now, I recommend each goat usually has 250 square feet for each goat. So that's about right, considering we have four to five goats at a time. We also have this area that if we're not housing anybody in, we just leave the gate open over there in the back. One of the biggest challenges when we were building this area was that we had to take down a large tree right back here that was gonna provide lots of shade for this area. So that was a big setback because we knew we didn't want our goats just baking in the heat out back here. So we planted two shade trees. One is a Chinese elm and one is an ash tree. And together, hopefully in future years, they'll provide enough shade for our goats back here. The good news is, is our goats really won't be back here locked away full time, except for in the winter when we want to plant like a cover crop back here or a pasture mix in the back. So during the summer when the grass is nice and lush, they'll have, ac have access to both areas, but in the winter, that's when they'll be locked up in here and thankfully it's a lot cooler in the winter. So Tilly's standing on our poor tree stump that had to be removed because it was full of bees. She's gonna wanna come in with me, but you have to stay out for a second while I do this. So in our goat area, we usually have um, two types of mineral feeders. We'll usually do a regular mineral blend and then I'll usually put anything medicinal in here that I need them to eat or I'll put baking soda in this other one. We utilized the trunk of the tree that we fell and we created a sort of goat tower, which they love and they climb up on top and then we made a little, little bridge for them to walk across and they love that as well, it's pretty good. And over here we just have the two little feeders. Uh, right now we have to have these little um, boards because our little tiny baby goat will jump in there and poop all in the pellets and if you know goats goats will not eat anything that has poop in it so it's the only way we can keep that little baby out of it so if you come back here let's see let's see if we can get these goats out of the way no 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 no. they think it's time to eat dinner so the way i designed this was so what i could have them do is they could my kids could open the gate right here and let a goat out and milk that goat. So the goat would walk all the way down here and then we would get to our goat milking parlor. So you open this gate. These goaties want to get in. And in the goat milking parlor we have a nice little setup. So we have a shade area right here and we built a pallet deck and then we put just a file cabinet out here for storage. This is something that just helps protect all of our stuff. We've got our homemade wipies in here. I've got a bug repellent spray out here. And then just little bits and pieces 
usually we keep like baling wire and little tools out here, little hoof cutters, just little things like that in case we need it. So we stack some feet up. This is our garbage. Um, this is our stand. So our goats can just basically come right in here, run up the stand, and get milked right here in this area. And then we've just got our feed. So over here, we've got, these are some pellets. We've got some sunflower seeds in here for the goats. And then we finally have some grain for the chickens. And so what I like about this setup is my kids can open this gate now and they can come walk straight back up to the house. So people often say, oh, your milking area looks really far away from the house, but it's actually really close. So my kids can walk out the back door right here, walk here, walk into the milking area. They can let the goats in right here and milk them. And if they have to walk all the way back to get a goat, they can go right straight back to the goat area. So this was a really nice setup. I'm really happy with it and the way we designed it. Living in Arizona, we don't need an enclosed milking parlor. You can imagine why, because it's hot. And so we need as much airflow as possible. The only thing we really needed was a shade for the milking parlor, which is right there. And it shades the milker and the goat at the same time. And everybody is happy. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed our goat milking setup, the, fi the finale of the whole series. I am really, really happy with it. We had a few bumps along the road, but in the end, it was totally worth it. It's a nice setup to have. So hopefully this helps you as you're trying to build your goat milking area. Let me know what you figure out as well. Bye.